forward here. I'm going to try and put a little bit of pressure on Firebat Hero, who should be okay from this. So we'll see what Best decides to do next. I expect Best to just put up his uh, robotics facility and play a rather standard opening here against Firebat Hero. Um, I don't think necessarily he needs to do anything fancy until Firebat Hero shows that he is uh, he is the kind of player who is uh, you know where where it's necessary for him to 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 do anything you know other than his main game. Um, and Firebat Hero has not shown enough strength, I think, for Best to want to do that. And Best has a robotics facility down already. Uh, he is going to be going for probably. Um, an early reaver harass uh, could be observers, but I'm going to guess it's an early reaver harass because he expects the fast expand, so he doesn't need the observer so fast. Second factory probably going up for Firebird Hero, and uh, he's going to be putting an engineering bay down. Um, I have to say, if Firebird Hero wins this game somehow, he is going to have uh, like uh, he's going to be like dancing queen for like 30 minutes. He's going to have the ceremony to end all ceremonies because he will have beaten one of the best Protosses around right now. He will have, in some ways, vindicated uh, himself because Best certainly has beaten much in the past um, quite thoroughly. And uh, so, you know, I guess uh, Fiber Hero will be able to say, well, at least I beat the guy who beat much. Um, looks like Fiber Hero a uh, little bit early on his SCV transfer. Uh, he will, uh, of course, uh, land at Command Center and get his SCVs mining. Best with a definite economic advantage, though, at this point. And like I said, Best can pick up that expansion to the left of his main by uh, breaking open that temple. And he'll be able to hold it pretty easily, I think. There is that wide ramp, and it'll be hard for a Terran player to push tanks up. Looks like uh, pr uh, Firebird Hero now putting down his engineering bay. He's going to have to deal with... Um, actually, it looks like, no, it is uh, Fast Observers. Sorry, not a, a, a reaver drop there. So Best uh, playing relatively cautiously here. I think he is just going to make sure that Firebird Hero does not have really the ability to push forward with some kind of Vulture Harass or uh, a Vulture Tank push, just in case, actually. I, actually, I'm going to take it back. I guess Best didn't know that Firebird Hero was going for a fast expand. He didn't actually get up the ramp, so uh, Firebird Hero could have been going for something like a two-factory push, um, where in which case the observers are uh, just absolutely crucial to save yourself as the Protoss from uh, the vultures with their minds. Um, anyway, so Firebird Hero expecting some kind of uh, harass. He's got turrets and tanks all around his main. I think he's going to be okay. Um, of course, there is no harass coming up, so <laughs> of course he's going to be okay. Uh, anyway, so both players are... looks like they're going to avoid the middle of the map for now. Um, like I said, the middle of the map is relatively dangerous to traverse, uh, so you know we could be seeing both players just trying to avoid it. Um, Fiber Hero sending out just two vultures to scout around. Uh, this is the SKT1 coach, of course, and the lady we just saw, January, is the Samson Khan coach. This is, I believe, the first game played chronologically in the Pro Leagues, and both of these players are definitely top contenders. Um, SKT1, of course, uh, winning last the first half of the Pro League, uh, and Samson Khan, um, uh, you know, not qualifying actually, but um, certainly being a, a you know, a team I felt like... Well, actually, no. Did they qualify? They did qualify. What am I saying? KTF was one that didn't qualify. So, Samson Khan, um, certainly, you know, top team uh, and, and, you know, a force to be reckoned with in any season with Stork, uh, especially resurgent as he is now. Um, anyway, Firebird Hero looks like he's going to get caught up here with his vultures. He's going to see the probe transfer at least. Oh, looks like he's actually going to get two more vultures into that uh, ramped up expansion and it doesn't seem like uh, Best has chosen to break the, um, the temple. So uh, I guess that th there is a strategic reason for not doing it also. It is to uh, prevent vultures from possibly I guess running past and into the main. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if the temple's down or not. Anyway, so um, Firebird Hero going for this harass. He's doing a decent job with his micro, although it's not really going to get him that far. Uh, he's building a lots of um, a lots of uh, factories now, uh, up to four, and uh, he. We'll see if he decides to expand again to match the Protoss, or if he decides to uh, to set up for a push coming up pretty soon. I think given the factory is going down, he is going to try to get a nice push before the uh, Protoss can get Templar Tech, um, or certainly before he can get Arbiters or something like that. I don't think this will be a good map for carriers, um, although I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> we could be seeing carriers. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a good map for it, though. There's just not that many artifacts um, to really... Uh, make carriers that successful, and and best certainly is not the player who likes carriers so much. He loves arbiters, and he just is so good with arbiters that uh, I definitely expect that from him as his late game tech. Putting up a lot more gateways now, and uh, now he, I think that was a shuttle with a reaver, uh, or maybe no, I think it was just a, I guess it was just a shuttle then, um, loading up a couple of zealots in it. So uh, maybe just going to try to uh, stop the tank push using that that uh, shuttle with the zealot bombs. 
And here comes Firebat Hero venturing into the middle of the map now. Like I said, Bess is very capable of flanking, and uh, this map is dangerous for the Terran in the middle. Um, Firebat Hero, of course, has no idea where Bess's army is. Bess is actually split uh, between the middle and the right of the base there. So Firebat Hero actually just setting up a forward position, though. It looks like he's not going to go for any kind of... Um, push forward. Uh, shuttle coming in there and it looks like it's not going to get taken out nor is it going to do much damage uh, and, and now it's going to retreat. Um, Firebird Hero of course has no anti air. He doesn't have an armory up yet although I suspect he will be getting one soon. Academy going up for Firebird Hero. Not an armor yet. Um, and uh, I, I do want to see more Terran players build effective anti air. I think they don't do that enough. Firebird Hero is actually I think picking up that that mineral only actually at the inside 12 that's a little surprising i think that mineral only is very difficult to hold and i don't think it's a profitable move at all stargate going up for uh for most likely arbiters there um for best and fiber hero just mining up that uh that mineral only uh i think he would be better off getting another gas to be honest uh breaking the temples maybe and uh picking up that base at the uh two o'clock position that is his but um, I guess Firebird Hero just uh, wants to play it extra safe or he feels like he's invested on that contain so he can pick up that mineral. Uh, but it's not going to be that helpful, I think. Um, anyway, though, looks like uh, Firebird Hero just... The only thing that's crossed the middle of the map so far are Firebird Hero's Vultures. Both players are just, uh, just building up here and playing a sort of a positional game. Uh, no Templar Archives out yet, interesting enough. So, uh, no, there is Templar Archives and there is the Arbiter Tribunal. Uh, that's my first shot of them so far. So we are going to see those Arbiters. And uh, Bess has been showing <laughs> showing Terran players to be very scared of double recalls and just recalls in general in recent days. I guess I'll spoil... Um, uh, well, actually, uh, it makes sense, obviously. The OSL round 16, Best won against uh, Light with an amazing double recall. Despite the fact he lost his own main base, uh, he had enough bases around the map to make it worthwhile and just uh, just completely dominate him with that double crazy recall. So it's something for Firebird Hero to watch out for in the late game. Here comes Best actually going for a break here, uh, right in the front. Firebird Hero actually, I thought he was in a better position than he is now. He just wasn't... Oh, man, this is why his Terran versus Protoss is just not great. He did didn't have a minefield set up, and Best took advantage of it by running through. Now it looks like he's going to pick off a lot of units here, probably most of the tanks. Uh, speed thoughts going all among the tanks there, and man, Firebird Hero in huge trouble here. It looks like the forward contain is completely overrun by Best. Just one fell swoop. I was going to say that, oh, mine's catching a lot of his own zealots, actually. Uh, I was going to say that a that, uh, frontal attack probably wouldn't work, but Best just looking completely calm and cool there, just rushing in down that ramp, and Firebird Hero now is definitely in trouble. Um, he has lost all of his tanks. Uh, he's going to lose that command center, which I think is just a ridiculous position. I have no idea why he decided to pick up that expansion uh, instead of the, the one on the the, uh, the high ground on the right side. But um, yeah, basically Firebird Hero, I think, is uh, with that with that loss there, has, has pretty much cannot come back in the game because that was what he needed to deal with uh, to make a timing attack. Um, interesting enough, Bess is also picking up that mineral only, so I guess um, that mineral only is uh, is not that bad, or at least the programmers don't think it's so bad. Even though I think it only has about six patches. Um, anyway, lots of uh, lots of high Templar coming out. There's gonna be a storm for them. Three gas, of course, four best, and uh, just two gas for Firebat Hero. Firebat Hero also losing all those precious, precious tanks. Uh, it looks like he's building another command center. Maybe he's gonna. I have no idea what he's gonna do with that command center actually over there. Interesting location. Um, maybe he's gonna try to expand to the 12 o'clock location. I'm not even sure if there's an expansion there. So I <laughs> don't remember from. Yeah, there is no expansion. So. Maybe on the left somewhere. Anyway, Firebird Hero uh, looks like he's going to see these Dragoons pushing in here. Um, trying to get a surround here with his Vultures. Uh, looks like he's going to be partially successful here. Actually, he's going to be successful here. Going to pick off that control group of uh, Dragoons. That's not bad, actually. It shows that Firebird Hero has been practicing at least some micro against uh, Protoss. Although I think strategically he's still much weaker than he, sh he needs to be to uh, leave that MSL group. Um, at least, I mean, Bess is making it seem that way. But I think that was a it was a true error there, though. Not having vulture mines in front of his tanks, not uh, having his vulture mines, uh, not having his vultures in position either. And by the way, completely randomly, I think I saw a vulture today while I was uh, driving to uh, New York. I'm not even kidding. There was this weird car 
I don't even know if it was a car. It was like a three-wheeled kind of thing. It was like two wheels in front and one large wheel in the back. Vehicle. It was kind of like a motorcycle, but it had two people in it, and it was open. It was tiny, and I don't know how it was street legal, but it was like, seriously, I expected like grenades to come out and, and kill innocent civilians on the side, giving 20 damage to each. Oh my goodness. Best has just destroyed Firebat Heroes Army once again with a beautiful, beautiful uh, Arbiters there. Mine's managing to pick off some Zealots, but um, not beautiful Arbiter, but I mean beautiful Speedlot push there. Uh, picking off the forward contain. Doesn't even matter if Best loses most of this uh, his Speedlots because he's managing once again to take out the gas.